One month from today, schools all across the state are slated to open. Overnight, the CDC put out new guidelines for reopening, putting an emphasis on getting children back in the classroom. Our Hunter Hoagland joining us now in studio with how these guidelines will affect school this fall. Hunter, what would you find out? Well, Kevin, in just a few short weeks, students across central Arkansas are set to plunge back into the classroom. I talked to a mom today about the very broad guidelines. She says she worries it still won't be safe. For this mother of five, that makes five, sending her kids back to school isn't as easy as teaching them two plus two. I'm still not sure if she's going back. Three of Melissa Lozano's kiddos are students in Benton Public Schools. She says she's worried since March about their safety when they're not at home. I'm nervous because one of them has asthma. Overnight, the CDC released guidelines for schools in the fall. It suggests they just wash their hands, keep their distance, and disinfect surfaces. But this mom worries that might not cut it. It's important for me to be there, but at the same time, it's important for them to stay alive and not have this disease, so I'm not sure. I think it's every school district across the state that's really struggling to make sure that we're keeping students safe and giving them the best education we possibly can. Isabella Bradley with Benton Public Schools says it's tough to balance, but their priority is keeping the Panther community safe. She says students will be required to wear masks and sanitize their hands when going in and out of their classrooms. It's mounted to the wall, so the minute that kids walk in, they can hit that hand sanitizer right away. Still, this mom says a decision affecting her kids' health is one only a parent can weigh. We don't know what we're going to do. In addition to the new CDC guidelines, Bradley says they're also telling parents in the district that if your child isn't feeling well, keep them home. That way other kiddos can stay safe if they're back in the classroom. Kevin, back to you. All right, Hunter, thank you much.